Hello out there to you. In this problem, we're going to solve a small country trade graph with a tariff and without a tariff uh, and under what's called autarky. So you'll see this uh, word here where it says absence of trade. Uh, the economics word for that is autarky. It just means independent or uh, not trading with the rest of the world. So they said calculate consume homes, consumer surplus and producer surplus in the absence of trade. So what I'm going to do actually is I think, think it helps to sort of draw on this. Consumer surplus is the difference between what the price the consumers pay and the price that uh, they're willing to pay. And then producer surplus is the difference between price the consumers are willing to sell at and what they actually sell at. So what we're really looking at for the consumer surplus, it's the area underneath the demand curve, but above the price. So without trade or under autarky, it's going to be the area of this triangle, that's consumer surplus. And uh, we can calculate that. CS, not that color, easier to read. Okay. So consumer surplus is going to be one half, and so it's nine to fourteen. So that's five, five times five. And hey, hey, got one I can do in my head there. That's twenty-five, and then half of that is uh, twelve point five rupees. So twelve point five rupees uh, is the uh, consumer surplus for that country. And then the producer surplus under autarky is going to be the area. Let's put uh, let's put this up here. I'll just draw draw an arrow to it. Okay. And uh, now for the producer surplus, we're going to start here. It's the area above the supply curve, and then below the price. So right here, oh, we don't really have to calculate because we can see uh, we're going up five and over five and one half of that. So uh, the producer surplus is also 12.5 rupees. If you wanted to write out and show your steps, it's just one half, five times five. Okay, so there's our consumer and producer surplus. This other graph is the rest of the world. So this is the import market. And now we suppose that they engage in uh, trade and the world price or PW is $6. So $6 is this world price. So if you didn't have that, you would just lay it down right there. But we do have that. So now the consumers are going to buy this many units. They're going to buy eight units. Okay. And does home benefit from trade? Well, explain. Yes, yes, they do. Because now the consumers are going to buy four more units. And uh, they're going to pay a lower price for all of those units. So the consumer surplus is going to be this big area. Now it's important to recognize that the producers, the domestic producers, they will uh, not benefit from this because this is their producer surplus. So this is the big consumer surplus. This is the little producer surplus. They're still going to sell two units, but they're not going to sell as many uh, and they're going to sell as lower price. Uh, but we are the, remember the original, um, triangle was 20 what adds up to 25 rupees it's just the area of this triangle here but now we've added this this area right here so i guess they want it calculated uh so consumer surplus for the second one under free trade we're going to go 14 down to six which is eight eight rupees times eight that's smooth. So that's uh, 64 and then half of 64 is 32 rupees. So the consumer surplus now is 32 rupees, much better than 12.5. The producer surplus is going to be much smaller. It's the area of this little triangle here. So two times two. Uh, here, I'll write out my steps here. So two rupees times two units, that equals two. So the producers are, are worse off by, it looks like, 10 and a half. Consumers are better off by uh, almost 20, so 19.5. Uh, that's a that's a net benefit. Okay, so you could you could write that um, adding these together, we're now at 34. 34 is better than 25. You could say that. You could say the consumers pay a lower price. Um, 
so on and so forth. Concern, concern about the welfare of local producers, home government imposes a tariff of $2. Okay, now they've already drawn this on here, but in case they hadn't, what you do is you just take the world price and then add the tariff to it, and then it'll be a horizontal line here. Okay, we actually don't need this second graph. I don't know um, why they why they put that there, but it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so it says compare compute the net effect of the tariff on the home country. Okay, so um, what we want to do is we want to calculate a couple things. So if the new consumer surplus is going to be here they're not going to buy as many units and they're going to pay more so we're going to lose we're going to lose this this spot i'm going to put a color it gray here this is part of the dead weight loss okay this is the loss to consumer surplus and then the domestic producers they're going to produce now more units so they're happy about this and they're going to sell them at eight so they don't not really subject to the tariff but the tariff makes it so they can sell it at a higher price so uh, they're going to sell two extra units. Now, the in case it asks you, the import amount is two, which they have over here, but um, it's the difference between what the domestic buyers buy and what the domestic sellers sell. Okay, And the tariff, so we're going to calculate a couple of things here. So this, this was number two, or number B, rather. And then number C, we're going to... Calculate a couple things. First, let's calculate the tax revenue. So that's going to be the tariff, which in this case is two dollars. So oh, I bet I'm talking rupees. So two rupees, two rupees times the number of imports. So two times two is four rupees. Okay, that's the tax revenue. Now we want the consumer surplus. So the consumer surplus is 14 down to 8, so that's 6. Uh, put that there. So 6, 6 rupees on 6 units, that's 36. Um, half of 36 is 18, so 18 rupees is the new consumer surplus. So the consumers are still better off than they were under autarky, but they're not as well off as they are under free trade, so they they lose. Um, that I'm just going to make sure because you know sometimes I spend some time out in the sun and so yeah I got it all right all right so uh, that's the consumer surplus so loss to consumer surplus is 32 minus 18 which is 14 rupees this is all measured in money and then producer surplus is the uh, right here, so we're going four times four, so one half, four times four, so that's 16 equals eight rupees. And before that was two, so the domestic producers gain four, uh, they gain six rather. Um, so they're they're better off by uh, that. So, but but our net effect here is so it would be six plus four, because that's government tax revenue, so that's 10, uh, and then we lose 14, so we actually lose four. So the net effect, negative four. And you can actually see that, because there's another sort of deadweight loss here on the graph. So we also lose this. This represents sort of the wasted production, okay? So two times two, and the area of this right here, the area of this calculates into two rupees, and the area of this calculates into two rupees, and that is, of course, our net effect. So that is how to analyze a graphical version of the small country trade model.